Hey guys, I'm Jermaine. And I'm Renee. And, and we're, we're the Max. Max. So welcome to our channel where we share our life, our love, and our faith. So in today's video, we're going to talk about the story, the full version, <laughs> the true story of how we met. Yes. So, um, yeah, so we've been together 17 years and the story of how we met, we've told it so many times, it's, it's just it's unbelievable. And every time the story changes <laughs> just a little bit, right? But hmm, I wonder um, who changes it. I, I, sometimes <laughs> new elements, new, new evidence is uncovered mm. and so you have to present that evidence to be to be you have to present it right so no changes this is the very true story of how i met renee and how she met me. yes so i'll go nice. first right okay. so i was 19 years old i had started my business of repairing computers for three years now so you know i got a call from a friend one day you know i have a computer for you to look at I'm like okay cool where is it okay veneer town cool um take that bus go that place meet me that place okay cool um so i showed up at this house you know i'm, I'm just here to do a job you know nothing i'm i'm not I'm, I'm 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 not trying to get married or anything i'm just here to do a job so i show up my focus is the computer my focus I see nothing else you know computers back then were my um, my works of art okay mm -hmm. so I step into a room I don't even see people I see computers mm -hmm. right so I was focusing on the computer mm -hmm. and you know I felt this beam of light through the back of my head like and <laughs> I was like, so, like, you know, when you put a magnifying glass and the rate, like, that's what it felt like. So I was like, clearly I'm being watched. I was like, <laughs> why do I feel like somebody's watching me? Seriously. Mm. So um, I was like, okay, cool. Let me just play it cool. You know, seems like, you know, a, a little girl, you know, she's a fan. It's okay. It happens. So, yeah. Am I, I'm, I'm, no, am, I, I'm, I'm, am I not telling the truth so I'm, far? I'm, I'm just saying, keep going. Okay, You're telling right. your version, cool, remember. Cool. Okay, so it's my version, is then it, your version. It, yeah. And then the truth <laughs> is somewhere in there. Okay. <laughs> so next, you know, I finished my job. You know, I was like, okay, cool. This is Renee, nice to meet you. Well, that happened before. I was like, hey, Renee, nice to meet you. I was like, okay, cool. I did my job. Um, I don't even remember if I get paid. I got of paid, course I you got paid. I got paid. Yeah. You paid me? Yeah. You paid me? Okay, I got paid. Um, <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, that was it. So I left, um, you know, didn't think anything of it. Um, yeah, that's it. All right, so can I tell my version sure. of that okay. encounter now? All right. Okay. So, yes, he came in to fix my computer. Mm -hmm. When he came in, I was on the phone. So I didn't even. I don't think she was speaking. To I, <laughs> can I tell my story? Okay, all right. Okay. Right. So I was on the phone, and I look up and I saw this gorgeous guy. Right. And I was like, Oh my gosh! Like all of this for a computer? What? But I had to hold it down because you know I was in a relationship and all these things. So <laughs> I was like, Oh, but yeah, I like what I'm seeing here. That's, so that's back when I had hair. <laughs> it wasn't just the hair though; it was the hair and the muscles and the lips. Because he used oh, to do this yeah. LL Cool J look and hard thing. I had muscles like, back then. Okay, so <laughs> no, so seriously, back then I used to just like you can't do that on camera, dude. I can't. But but, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so he used Check to do out. this whole LL Cool J licking lips thing. So his lips were really plump and pink all the time like all the time very noticeable 
he admitted that he did that purposefully. <laughs> so anyway. Yeah, that, that was that was my way of drawing girls to my lips. I was like, I, I, I want him to see that, you know, something was going <laughs> on and maybe just what would it be to kiss him? That, that's all. Yeah. Yeah. Was yeah. But it so, worked, clearly. <laughs> well, you know, yes, attention was drawn. Let's just say. Okay. So then he goes to fix the computer and I'm sitting in a little corner. So the computer is in my room and I'm on the bed in a little corner. She tried to go as far. She tried to go <laughs> through the wall in the corner. She was backing so up true. so With far. a book in my hand and I'm just like, I'm keeping focused here. I'm focused here because I'm not focusing over there where he was. And every now and again, I'd look behind and be like, yeah this girl is completely ignoring me okay <laughs> yeah so you know that that um beam that it's, he's talking about uh, in in the back of his head not really um i was very intentional about not doing that um after first acknowledging <laughs> spiritual of the first identifying and acknowledging that this guy is attractive and it was dangerous territory to start looking at him so i was just like book focus locked in there left it alone so at the end of that meet um that encounter when he fixed the computer fixed the computer i think no whoa whoa hold on hold on was it working or not it, it was working it was okay working. was it working so, when i got there no, you fix it. You well, fix was it, it working when I got there? No. Was it working when I left? Yes. I fixed the computer. <laughs> That's all I have to say. So he fixed the computer and then left. That was it. Then she sabotaged the computer <laughs> to see me another day because less than two weeks later, I'm getting a call. Hey, the computer that you fixed is showing i think then it was a different error message right it was it wasn't even you, you, you know what you, you know when you just see, you see in those movies where you know trying to show a car is not working so they start r ripping things out the bonnet i think she opened up the side of the computer or threw water on it something you know it's just like this true. this has to break because i have to see this guy again i can't stop thinking about it Okay, that's again, again, yeah, again, that's his version. That's true. Um, the whole yeah. truth and nothing but the truth. Mm, yeah. So, what happened I, to the computer? I don't know what happened to the computer, and he's been asking me this for the entire it's duration. It's an unsolved <laughs> mystery because oh. it's the only computer <laughs> that nobody knows what went wrong. No, that's not true because when you came back. Mm -hmm. You found out what was wrong and you fixed it yeah, again, right? Yeah. So, I so, fixed it again. Uh, yeah. She so, wanted to get me alone. That's the only no. thing. You know, she was like, you, you can come to fix the computer when it's just me. <laughs> you know, so, you're just making stuff show, up. Show up at five. You know, I'll, I'll, I'll leave a key for you under the gate. You know, so. No, that didn't happen. That, that, that Thank didn't, you. That didn't happen. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for admitting that. Yes. So, yeah, he did get the call that the computer was not working again. So he had to, so he came back. Tell them what you did when you came back. I don't remember. What was the line that you used? Oh, no, but it wasn't that day. The line was actually after that day. So, so Renee thinks <laughs> the line that started our whole relationship was one day because apparently I I had to spend so much time fixing the same computer. It was ridiculous. I don't know what you're about the fourth or fifth time. <laughs> it was I, not that many. I was there and I was like, I thought we we're friends. You know, you're not calling me. That was it. That was the line. That was it. She was like, green light. Yes, <laughs> he likes me. Let's go. Oh my gosh, I was such a kid. No, I wasn't in love yet. But yeah, um, so he said that and I said, okay. 
I guess I should call him then. And um, that started our conversations as friends. Yeah. And we had a lot of conversations. A lot. A lot. A lot. We conversations. talked a lot. And I remember what about what no, we talked. Yeah. Like what do nineteen and sixteen year olds have to talk about? But we talked. Yeah, hours. We talked a lot and we we got to learn a lot about each other and um you know, just gain an appreciation of each other as individuals. Yeah. Um and then I think I was like, no, this guy is pretty awesome. You know, he's pretty awesome. I think that he deserves to be in a good relationship. Oh my God. So, <laughs> so is, you heard that? You heard that? He deserves to be in a good relationship. Ooh. And so Renee, my save, my the, the person who's going to save my, my, um, my dating life decides that it's a very excellent idea because she likes me can't have me because we're both in relationships and apparently to her the persons i was dating at the time according to her didn't meet the standard right um but i were, what what were you really dating though was, Wait, that... was it really a relationship though? so so what what me <laughs> no what's that is it why, why wasn't it a relationship? I don't know, you tell me. I, I'm just listen, asking questions listen, here. Listen, listen, listen. How dating works, you like me, I like you. Okay, we, so... We didn't even need to say we're in a relationship. We just... If right. you spoke to somebody on a regular basis, you're dating them. <laughs> no. Yes. Okay, so you were... So you were dating then. You weren't in a relationship. But what's the difference? It, like, the relationship is a commitment. Know what I'm saying? (laughs) Yeah, so he was dating. He wasn't in a relationship, right? And I thought that he should be in a relationship, in a good relationship. Right. So. so, Okay, okay. So being the fixer. So so you heard that word again? He should be in a good relationship. (laughs) So you you see those words? She, She makes it sound as if, you know, I could not... I wasn't capable of finding somebody on my I'm own. I'm not saying that. I just, uh, I'm just saying, I was just saying that I knew some good single girls, you know, like girls who would have. Girls who had no interest in being <laughs> set up in the first place. Yes. Yeah, so it was, it was a whole thing because I then started trying to set him up with my friends. And they Some of them played it. along, but the, yeah. yeah, they they knew. Yeah, some of them knew. You're telling me there are persons who didn't know they were being set up. No, I don't mean the set up. Part. Okay. I mean knew that it's because. Yeah, I think all of almost knew. Like, <laughs> because I'd be like, I'd I'd meet a friend and be like, oh, you're German. I was like, huh? Yeah, I told everybody about him because. I was like she she was he, she she was trying to to was solicit upselling. dates. Yeah, yeah. she's like, you know this guy, he's go Yeah, ahead. I was pretty I was pretty much upselling him. So I was just like, you know, hey, this I He'll fix a computer <laughs> with a side of of a relationship, you know. <laughs> but I'd pretty much be telling them about him and how great he is and you know, take a you know, take a chance with him. It's it's take worth a it. It's worth take it. Take a chance. Just meet him. Just meet him. You love him. I'm, yeah, I'm sure you love they him. They probably thought I was homeless or something. Be like, <laughs> you know. It was. <laughs> oh my gosh. Anywho, regardless to say, none of that worked out. What did you do though? Let's talk a little bit. Let's talk. I about, didn't do anything. Let's talk a little bit about that one. What? what was your response to what? To those setups. I don't recall. You don't. don't recall anything. Mm-hmm. Didn't do anything. I, I played it. I did. I did my job. If there was a computer to fix, I fixed it. There was mm-hmm. a time when I needed some help for studying. I took the help. That was it. I, I didn't do anything. Okay. Okay. Well, all right. So, 
after that, after all of that. Um, or respective relationships had ended. Yeah. My relationship ended. His dating situation ended. <laughs> My relationship ended. Okay? It was a relationship. Uh, Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Um, and those had their own complexities. And then a, a few months after they ended, um, yeah. we actually started dating. Um, and getting to the point of dating wasn't even our our action yeah. <laughs> or it, or intentional action that got us there. It took a friend. It yeah. took a friend to a friend who was just tired of hearing, um, you know, I me talk to, about Renee. Yeah, sure. yeah, it's like it's it's too complicated. It's too soon. You know, yeah. just came out of another out of another relationship. Should I really? start and you know be... but I, I couldn't stop talking about her and i think the friend was like this is the last straw so you're either gonna get together with her i don't want to hear anything about her ever again that that, that is, is like you know those gentle nudges that's not a gentle nudge it's more like a push like yeah. yo you're dating this girl today yeah it and it was at that time when conference calling was the thing three -way, well, yeah three-way three -way dating was over. <laughs> and three week calling was the thing. I mean, it's still a, it's it's a thing again because you know you can conference on your set. No, it was yes, called three week calling then. Yeah. yeah. So I I know it's so weird. Three week but yeah, but, things, <laughs> but so. we're on a conference. So we were on a call, a group call, group chat, and the friend. Um, you know, it it, it sounded like. Wedding vows, like <laughs> Renee, do you take Jermaine? Jermaine, do you take Renee? Okay, you're together. Yeah, it was like, do you like him? Yes. Do you like her? Yes. yes. Do you want to date each other? Yes. yes. Okay, so then you're together. <laughs> okay. So we're like, okay. okay. Yeah, it's a little bit weird. And, it was then, a little bit weird. and then we came out for like, yes. Yeah, we were both happy at that point. And still, Still knowing that we had baggage, but yes, we are. We both did. We had baggage. My, but my bags were light because I wasn't. I was in a dating situation. <laughs> there. Okay. So you see how that works out? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I'm in a dating well, situation, so my bags were light. My bags weren't light. They weren't. So it took us some working through, but you know, yeah. getting that kickstart from the friend was very helpful for us and we we then started taking it seriously as a relationship and started working on sometimes too that. seriously like, yeah like yeah, why we got, like i felt like i was in a marriage like very quickly <laughs> i mean it is just i mean not in a bad way but like and i mean we'll, we'll get into this in other stories but in some ways persons you know would say to us that we seem like we're together for a long time because we're just we right, the acceleration is our thing yeah like yeah we go hard yeah. <laughs> in everything that we do so so this was no different we went kind of hard real fast yeah. and so our relationship what what do you call that was fast track yeah yeah you, you just kind of feel it just kind of felt like at the time that, you know, we just knew. I, I I thought it was just based on the number of time we spent talking to each other. You know, I remember if you've never been in a situation where you fall asleep on the phone, you both fall asleep, by the way, because mm. one person falls asleep, then you're like, wait, they fell asleep on me. Then you fall asleep. Then the other person wakes up. Have the nerve to wake you up after they fell asleep on you. And he actually continued the conversation as if nothing. Oh my gosh. You remember those wake-ups? Those dialing the keypad? So yes. <laughs> to have to wake you up. <laughs> to wake She to falls wake. asleep. She mm. fell asleep a lot. I still do. She, well, not. She, she's calling me like 10 o'clock. And I'm like, she's like, so what you doing? So how was your day? 
So what did you do this? Did you go to where you said you were going to go? 21 questions. <laughs> I was like, this girl is an investigative reporter. It's a whole bunch of questions. And it's the same thing. It's like, okay. Right. Every day. So after I explained everything that I did, then she was like, well, for me, I did this, and I did this, and I did this. I was like, okay, all right, cool. All right. That's what too much TV does, guys. Because that's where it came from. Playing the TV. Okay. I swear. All right. Okay, I don't swear, but yeah, it was a TV thing. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, it, it's it's okay. We just spent a lot of time talking, and yeah. you know, um, yeah. So that's really. But it really, laid, What it did was build a, a a foundation for us because we would have spent all that time getting to to know each other better and to develop our friendship yeah. over time, and it wasn't just about physical attraction or or just about you know wanting to be in a relationship but a foundation of friendship was was laid and it allowed us to build a solid relationship yeah. on yeah. top of that yeah so it felt like it felt natural yeah you know it it didn't feel it didn't feel accelerated in some ways it felt like we were very impatient, so some things felt slow as like, you know, I'd, I'd marry you right now. It's like, you've been dating two months, like, yeah. slow down. Yeah. You know, like, I, I, I'm, I'm giving you this promise ring because, you know, I need you in my life. You're, I never want anyone else but you. I was like, dude, like, yeah. you literally just met her. <laughs> just, like, that was legit you don't know anything about after. her. Because yeah. we started dating in July and then i got he gave me the promise ring for my birthday in september so yeah yeah, yeah. so i mean and just, i accepted it so it wasn't like yeah. i was saying whoa dude you're going to quit no yeah. i was like yes i'm down i'm ready i'm ready for this because you're the one but i mean it's <laughs> it's how it is I, th I think back then because you didn't have so many distractions meaning there was no social media so you just kind of met and the person you liked you spent all your time you know we yeah. had we didn't have whatsapp we had messaging yeah and then msn you know, messenger you know Yahoo messenger. E oh my Ooh. gosh wow msn yeah so asl <laughs> like oh yeah asl yeah wow. asl that was the danger that was the sliding in the dm then. That, that was, was this. Oh <laughs> my gosh! Yes, that was it. So yes. we had high five accounts. High five. We and had MySpace. Yeah. I didn't have MySpace, but you did. Yeah, I signed. I signed up for everything. Um, so, so I, I had I had my profile all set up, and you know that was it was weird because I think I started to. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> anyway, I'm, that's a different story for, for another time. <laughs> but um, yeah, so that's pretty much how we met the yes. the, full, the version, full version. Yeah, you know, Renee side and then the truth. You know, that's kind of y'all decide. Yeah, what's true here? <laughs> um, yeah. So that's it for this video. Yeah. Okay. Remember to like, share, subscribe. That was not, it's kind of abrupt. Yeah, I know, but again, clip it. I don't want to clip it. It's, <laughs> it's, it's going in the final video. Right. Um, yeah, so guys, thank you so much for checking out this video of how we met. And you know, we just wanted to leave you with a word of encouragement for this video. And it's uh, you know as we shared our story today you know what what kind of occurred to me is that you don't know which relationship will be the one <laughs> you don't so um you should never discount a friendship you should never discount a situation and i say that cautiously because there are interestingly enough some friendships that you should not enter into so we say it from the perspective that you are single, the other person is single, <laughs> you don't want to, you know, discount it. You know, within the right boundaries, of course, of what a healthy relationship should be. Yes. But 
you know, let's just take our point for what it is that you want to, you know, sometimes we may have expectations about what what the packaging of our spouse is supposed yes, to be. Yes, yes. <clears throat> right? Um, a friend of mine says, you know, you're looking for pretty and perfect wrapping paper. Sometimes it, they come wrapped in newspaper. <laughs> so, <laughs> so don't don't allow your don't call, don't allow your expectations to cause you not to see a person for who they are yeah. or to, to see them for who God intends them to be and especially if it is that he's saying to you this is the one this is yeah. the person because for us I mean when we just met we weren't packaged like the one either of us Ooh, you know if anything no. we were so far away from the one but you know, we, we we stuck it out and we became the ones that we are now. So you know, just, actually yeah. I think yeah, and I think what it was for us is that the Lord came in and just did a whole renovation of our relationship, a Definitely. renovation of our marriage, yeah. allowing us to see each other for who He intends us to be. And and in doing that through that, through those lens, we were able to see each other differently and, and operate differently as a couple. Yeah. Therefore, yeah. appreciating the heart yeah. more than more than so, anything else. Yeah. So as we said, just I mean, if you're if you're searching for that someone, if you've been looking, you know, just kind of take. Yeah. Just just kind of don't discount a relationship because of how it might have been presented. You know? Yeah. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. Remember to like, share, and subscribe <laughs> so yes. that you'll get notifications of our new videos when they are out. Yes. Love to the max. That's so just. <laughs> I think it lasts a kind of. I hope that was recorded. Oh. Can you see? Oh, it, it says it's recording. recording. Oh, you just need to stop it now.